Hi, I'm Darlene Prides. Today I'd like to tell you the story of one of my favorite Franciscan women, Rose of Viterbo. She really speaks to me because she lived her life in a way that was very different than how I was reared. See, when I was a girl growing up in the 60s and 70s, I was taught to be quiet. It wasn't seen as proper for girls to speak their minds. In fact, girls who had a strong voice, you know, those girls who knew their minds and voiced their concerns, they were usually called bossy. As if having opinions and being able to articulate those opinions was a bad thing. Now, more recently, social scientists have pointed out that by the time girls are around 12 or 14, they often start self-censoring themselves in classrooms and group events. Why is that? Why don't we want girls to grow up to be intelligent and articulate adults willing to voice their opinions and enter into reasoned debate that involves critical thinking and articulation of thought? Now, I hope things have changed since I was a kid. In fact, I hope we are open to looking with fresh eyes at many traditions, including the Franciscan tradition, where we actually might be surprised by the strong, articulate women we find there. In the Franciscan tradition, we have several women, mostly lay women, who could be role models of articulate faith and critical thinking today. Women who stood up for what they believed in. Women who called out bad behavior among their contemporaries, including some Franciscan friars. They did not do this to be cantankerous or mean-spirited, but because their faith called them to be truth-tellers. One of these women was actually a girl when she started preaching in the streets. Her name was Rose, and she lived in the city of Viterbo, way back in the 13th century. What is perhaps the most remarkable thing about her is not necessarily that she had an extraordinary faith to start preaching in the streets as a child around the age of seven or eight, and dressed in a habit, although that's extraordinary enough. But what's really extraordinary is that people around her, both men and women, listen to her. Sure. Some may have listened because it was a spectacle to see a kid preaching in the streets. But many listened to her words because, as a child, she was fearless to speak the truth. She continued to speak openly and preach in the streets through her teen years until her very early death at the age of 18. What was the cause of her death? An enlarged heart. Now, Rose's feast day is coming up on September 4th, so if you're so inclined, give a little shout-out to Rose of Viterbo and to those outspoken girls and women who know their minds and are fearless about speaking truth to power. If you'd like to learn more about Rose of Viterbo and women like her, check out my book, Women of the Streets, Early Franciscan Women and Their Mendicant Vocation.